in today's video, I'm going to show you DIY fall table decorating ideas and DIY farmhouse dining table decor ideas. I put these items together to prepare for Thanksgiving tablescape as we will be hosting this year. We always host just a small get together at our house. Um, and a lot of times our holidays are centered around the kids, so this will be no different. I was excited to put a little bit of spunk and a little extra decor now that my boys are a little bit older and can appreciate it. So I'm going to be making a few different DIY decor ideas for you guys, and these are totally doable for you guys to make at home as well. The first one is going to be a table runner. For this table runner, all that you will need is a huge piece of butcher paper and I am going to attach a printable where you can print out those letters that I was cutting and trace them on to the butcher paper. Now I measured out how long I would need the table runner to be. It should be several inches longer than the table on each side. And then I also wanted it to be a certain width. So that's what I'm doing now just to get it to be the length that I wanted. I also want to let you know that I will be providing you guys with a giveaway just to thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching these videos. I just have a blast making them. It just gets out my creative energy and I feel like my house is cleaner because I make these videos and also cuter because I like to decorate and share these things with you guys. So my giveaway is going to include a $10 Starbucks gift card, a California coffee, um, I guess to go coffee cup that I got from Starbucks. Of course, it's California. That's the state I live in. I love our beautiful state here and I just really like this cup. I have it myself so I thought I'd get one that I knew was good quality for you guys and then I'm also going to make you a table runner as well and send it to you so that you can have an adorable DIY decor item for your Thanksgiving or fall get together at your home. You could also just put it at an entryway as well. It doesn't have to go on the dining room table. You could cut it shorter or however it will work in your home. And then I also am going to give you some custom place settings if you want them. I will be showing you that in a little bit. They are kid friendly and just cute even for adults to have if you don't have kids in your family. So like I said, I'm measuring this butcher paper just to make sure that it doesn't take over the entire table. As you can see, our table is tiny. We do pull it away from the wall for holidays and we're able to fit eight even sometimes 10 chairs around this tiny table. That sounds like a lot, but we just kind of make it work. Um, we love to host just because we've got the little kids here and it's just easy for us to do that. And typically our family will like chip in and we'll do it potluck style and they will bring some things too. I'm also going to share with you at the end of this video a fun fall recipe and as always on my channel, I like to share recipes that can be adaptable for vegetarians and non-vegetarians as my household has both. I'm vegetarian, but my boys who are ages um, three and five are not and so, and my husband isn't either. So um, now you guys have got these two pieces separated. Um, these will be two different table runners. And now I cut out the word thankful. There is a principle that I will link below with this if you want to do the same at home. Also, to enter that giveaway that I talked about, if you wouldn't mind, um, if you wouldn't mind commenting below and saying what you are thankful for, if you would like to be a part of the giveaway, just say I am thankful for, and then write whatever you're thankful for, and I will announce the winner in exactly one week in next Monday's video. I will just do a random drawing. So you can't see this very, very well, but I am just tracing those letters and I'm just using a regular pencil so that I can erase it. And then after I'm done tracing all of the letters, I'm actually going to trace it with a Sharpie. Like I said, these 
This is definitely something that everyone can do in their home. It's very farmhouse style and it comes out so cute, you guys. And I just love how it, it does take some time, I have to be honest. As a busy working mom, it's it's some time to do to get this done. But as you can't tell, it's dark outside. I was doing this after my boys went to sleep and honestly, I kind of find it relaxing. So now I'm gonna take the Sharpie. I'm gonna outline the letters and then I'm also going to color them in with the black. And you will just see it come together. It came out pretty cute, I think. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch this part and I will touch base and explain the next part in just a moment. Now you can see that I am coloring in the letters that I traced. I feel like when it's not colored in, it doesn't look quite as nice, but you'll see as I start filling in these letters that it does start to look quite professional and high end. And I just can't believe I did this with a pencil and a Sharpie and just a printout of the letters thankful. Building castles out of sand, reaching for the I'm still filling in these letters here. Like I said, it is time consuming, but the result is really beautiful. And then I also said that I always kind of design for my children. And so everything on my channel is very family friendly. Um, I also feel like, did you guys ever used to go to this restaurant? Let me know in the comments. Um, Macaroni Grill does it exist anymore. I don't get out much. Um, I don't think we have one near us, but yeah, Macaroni Grill, they used to have these butcher paper table covers and they would have like little crayons at the table so you could draw on it and write in it and it was even kind of fun like on dates as an adult, I remember. And so I'm actually not, even though you will see me put this on the table and get it ready, I put it away because I definitely want to bring this out like on Thanksgiving. Um, so that it doesn't get ruined because my kids do all of their art and everything on this table and they would just love to write on it but i would love to just have it available and just be special for them to be able to write all over it on thanksgiving day or if you were having some kind of a dinner party you could also have this out and ready so this is the finished product 
Again, I think it came out really, really well. I'm so, so happy with it. Yeah, he would tell me we have time, time to laugh and time to heal. A favorite song is on repeat. Drink now I'm going to add a couple more items onto the table. This is actually from my fall decor videos. I have a whole playlist on fall decorate with me. So if you want to check that out, definitely do. But this little guy, that bird is new. He is a little turkey that I found, or should I say she is a turkey that I found in the dollar section of Target. I got this little basket at Ross. It was super cheap and I am decorating it with some of these just kind of fake, I would say it's like almost looks like dried plants and I just thought they were more of a neutral color and really liked that and I wanted to go with some neutrals on the table but you'll see I'm just not in love with the way that it looks so I kind of play around with it and I end up with something that I'm very happy with which is just the two squash in here and then the dried fake plants um, I really like this look I feel like it's very much so like a harvest look just loved it um, and I did leave that out on my counter for now. And these are real squash. I actually, we got the butternut squash from a pumpkin patch visit recently, and I will cook with it eventually. I also got these blocks, Give Thanks, from the Target dollar section. I was so happy to find them. I know that my boys will love those too. So I may take them out before Thanksgiving, but I'm not sure. I just, maybe the beginning of November. Now I am placing some plates that we almost always use. They have light blue color and flowers and then I got these napkins from Target and I'm very, very happy with them. I've been wanting to get some linen reusable napkins anyway just to be more eco-friendly. Now these are some printables that I made. I don't really talk about it a lot but I do have an Etsy account and I am, have just posted some Thanksgiving activities for kids on there. Mostly I post Kind of homeschool activities for kids that I make literally for my own kids so I ended up making these and we'll post these on there um, they are just a little I am thankful for and little nameplate to put right on top of the napkins just keeping it simple for kind of the farmhouse look but I am gonna add just a little fall themed colored colored pencil to each placemat also with this little leaf. I found these little leaves at the Target dollar section and thought they were perfect and then I'm also just tying them with a little bit of string and I'm using yellow but I mean I think like twine would be perfect as well just a little brown um, but the yellow just added like a bit of pop of color which is kind of fun since everything else is a little bit more neutral colored I think it worked. Um, and then again, just using the normal fall colors with the colored pencils. So this will give everyone opportunity to write what they're thankful for. On Thanksgiving, we always say what we're thankful for kind of um, before we eat. And then I bought these little mason jars. They are plastic, but I thought that was perfect. They're reusable cups that we can use. Um, my boys can even drink out of because when you have little kids, glasses on the table are a little bit risky, and we love to have apple cider with our Thanksgiving dinner. So, voila, there is the tablescape. I'm very, very happy with it. I hope that this gave you some great ideas. I wanted to let you know that I also am going to leave you a dollar off of anything on my Etsy store, and that coupon code is in the description of this video. I'm also going to be showing you a recipe for a delicious fall meal. It's potato soup and it's kind of a creamy potato soup. So stick around for that. But I'm going to show you a little bit more of this tablescape before we get to that. Also, if you're new, I would love you to consider subscribing before you go. I post a lot of cleaning videos as I'm a mom that does a lot of cleaning, but I also love posting a little bit of dash of like DIY and decor here on my channel as well. Tell me anything I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back 
For this fall meal, I, like I said, I'm going to show you a creamy potato soup. Now this can be vegetarian or non-vegetarian by adding bacon and my husband loves bacon so I knew that would make him happy. He usually likes to have even a little bit more meat, like mostly meat as a meal, but I thought he would accept this as he called it a comfort food um, with a little bit of bacon. So I started by chopping up some onion and this is going to require a lot of potatoes. I think I used about six or seven potatoes. It was about two and a half pounds. And like you saw, I chopped up about half of that humongous onion. So um, if you have a regular sized onion, you'll use the whole thing. And I'm gonna peel all of these potatoes and then chop them into little cubes. So that's what I'm doing now. I had a little bit of trouble. I think I need to sharpen my knife <laughs> watching this back. That's what I'm thinking. So I am going to add a couple of tablespoons of butter, the onion, and let that soften and then add some garlic. I'm going to add quite a bit of flour. The flour is just going to thicken this up and I'm going to give it a good stir and stir that all up together before adding more liquid into the soup. Now this soup usually would call for a broth with meat, but because I'm making it to be vegetarian friendly, I am going to use a veggie broth. So now I'm putting in all of my potatoes and I'm going to add this large box of vegetable broth. It's about 16 ounces. Now I'm going to add heavy cream. I only had half and half, so I'm using half and half, but you could add heavy cream as well gonna add some salt and some pepper and now I'm going to let that simmer for quite a while until those potatoes are softened so that I can poke through them easily with a fork and now I'm chopping up just as a garnish some green onions now I'm chopping up quite a bit mostly this is gonna be for me um, because I'm not gonna add the bacon I just like these because it's gonna give mine just a little bit extra flavor um, so my boys are not a huge fan of the green onions so I did just put them on the side for them to try and now I'm taking apart some of the soup and I'm just putting it in this food processor to thicken it ended up looking a lot like mashed potatoes so I'm gonna add that into the soup as well as some sour cream and the sour cream is gonna thicken up and make the soup pretty creamy so I'm just going to let that simmer now for a while more to melt the sour cream in there and blend it up so that, not blend it, but like melt it into the soup and blend together, um, but not completely blended like I did with the food processor. Now my bacon is done, so I am going to get the grease off the bacon first. I'm gonna chop it up into little bacon bite pieces and that is just going to go right on top. Now what's kind of interesting is the recipe I looked for actually called for you to cook the bacon in the pan and then after it was done, make the soup in that same pan with the bacon grease. My husband would love that, but then I would have to make two completely different meals and that just doesn't work for me as a busy mom. So here we go, here is the finished product. It tastes delicious, you guys. I put some garlic bread on the side and of course just some bacon um, pieces for my husband and my boys on the side. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed and that you will type what you are thankful for to sign up for the giveaway. I look forward to announcing it next Monday and I look forward to seeing you in the comments. I hope that you have a great day.